Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and uh, today we're going to work on saddlebag. Saddle bags. Now this is in the Australian Stock Saddle uh, book in the very last page. Um, I don't know if it's worth it for me to put this up for just this page for a delivery um, automated delivery that I, like I do with my other patterns. If, if you're really interested in just this pattern, let me know and I'll see about setting up just this page as a download for a small fee to help cover the uh, all the you know, the website stuff. Okay, uh, but this is in that the back of the Australian Stock Saddle book. Um, the instructions are actually right here. Okay. I'm going to show you a different way to do it. It's pretty much the same, but options, right? I like options. So the first thing I'm going to do is I don't need the instructions. What I do need is the pattern. So that's the pattern. And this is made out of tooling leather. And it's we're going to put it on the right side. So that we can uh, score it and I'll show you what I mean. And then this here is going to be out of a thinner leather or a more flexible leather. Um, I'm using, I think it's a book binding Skyver because um, it's thicker than my usual Skyver. But it's an opportunity to use it so I'm going to use it. Sorry, I don't need any of this. That's good. So, this matches my Australian stock saddle. So, I just need to pick a place. I don't have any real straight edges anymore. So, I just need to pick some place where I'll use a waste as little as possible. So, I'm just going to go right here. I'll get some waste there, but I don't have a lot of choice now. Because I've pretty much used this. Maybe I'll put it right there. I have really used this. I think that's about the best I'm gonna get there. You know, when it gets smaller, it gets harder and harder to find, you know, where to put things. But there we go. Right there. so it doesn't dry out of me. I think I bought this huge pack of them in, at Costco and um, and then I had to I had to get a job. So I had to stop doing my tax so I could um, help support my husband. Actually what I needed was the benefits. It wasn't really the money, it was the benefits. Because he, it just, it was hard, hard times. I think those hard times. Everybody has hard times. Well, we had ours. Uh, there we go. And then, um, and then I ended up staying at that job for eight years. That's a long time to do pretty much the same thing every day. So go ahead and cut that out like that. And then I'll get this. So that's rounded two, right? And then I'm gonna take my I'm gonna score this. So scoring means I'm only gonna go a little ways through. See right now if I try to Turn this into saddlebags. You know, it would kind of work, but it wouldn't look like it was sewed down here at the bottom. So I'm going to do a score just enough so I can get a tight bend. So now look at that. Looks like that was actually sewed, right? And once we um, edge coat. No we'd be able to tell really. I mean obviously we'll know but 
it gives you that look. Okay, so now I need to soak these in water to get the paper off. Don't tear the paper off. If you tear the paper off, you will peel off the um, dye. Peel off the, the finish, the top of the um, leather. You don't want to do that. We've done it one too many times. All right, so then this, I have this um, so this is like a book uh, book binding skyver. Um, it's nice and thin like a skyver and um, it's got its flaws but I'm gonna it's a perfect time to use this. All right so I'm just gonna go ahead and so I don't want to get into flaws. I think that's about right. Not that it'll be seen. It won't be seen, actually. This will be a very little seen. It's on the sides. So we'll go ahead and... I will go ahead and... There's four pieces there. I hope you can see them. There's four pieces. No, this this does not deal. My my stuff. I can't. I'm trying to think of something fun or funny to say, and really, what's funny about making saddlebags? You know, it's like ah, not good with jokes. So much for that. All right. So now I can take off the paper. Oh, I really hate that I. Lost my thumbnail here. Really used that thumbnail a lot. But let's go ahead and pull the paper off, and then I will soak the other pieces, and then I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. So, since these were wetted, I'm going to take advantage and I'm going to go ahead and shape these. And I'm going to let them dry in the shape that I'm looking for. Okay. So. are going to be better for this, I guess. Like that. There we go. Obviously you could tool on these. I mean, it's tooling leather, so you can decorate them. Um, and then I'll do a secondary option for how to put them on a saddle instead of the hooks and straps that were there. I mean, there's just one attachment style I picked, right? Every time I do that in the book, I pick one. 
Um, so I'll show you a different one, but I'm going to go ahead and let that set overnight. And then um, I'll show you how to finish the assembly. You have a good night. I'll be right back. Okay, next day. There you go. So what we're going to do is I am going to edge coat. Use an edge coat. Yeah, that's exciting. Or Sharpie. So, this is a way to blend the edges in with the rest of the. Okay, make sure you edge coat in here. And that should properly hide this right there. Please don't tell me I need to buy a new brown marker. Oh. If they have those Sharpie displays at the store anymore, it's so hard. I'm just blaming on supply chain, and I think stores are enjoying that they can limit how much inventory they have. So, used to be those Sharpie displays at the um, stationary places, the office places, and it was just all the different colors so I could just buy couple of these Sharpies all by themselves so they don't have to buy the rainbow pack. Yeah. Okay. So if you look, if you look at the difference. So go ahead and do the other one and then we'll put in the side panels is we're going to work on putting on these insides, or actually sides is what they are. So start just pick a side. I need my stylus. Okay, so we're totally flush. All right, see that? Totally flush with the edge. And then we're going to push these in. Inward. I have no idea why my arm is falling asleep. Oh, come on. You being a pain. All right. And then we should be able to. Make that corner when we turn it up. Hmm. Do it. I'm going to do the sides first. See if that's any better. I'll do the side and then fold it up. Then I did the bottom. And then the other side. Ooh. There's a stylus because my fingers are not that small. Oh, well, that's a little more work than I thought it was. 
Let's try that again. Ooh, I don't want to mess that up. So I'll put that aside to dry. Let's try this one again. Let's see. We'll do the front. I know that glue only goes halfway up, so we're good with that. Let's we'll see if this is any easier. Put the side in so that it is flush with that. Fold this this way. Push that in that way. And we'll kind of close it up. Yeah, that worked better. Now I can push the bottom in. Looks like I need a touch more glue. Right there, I need a touch more glue. Okay. So we'll let that sit for a bit. So I don't accidentally undo it when I'm trying to do the other side. Give that a bit, or I'll be right back. Everything moved. All right. So, let's see if that's dry enough yet. I think it is. So, now let's do basically the other side, pretty much the same way. But since I can't really get in there to spread glue, and I really should not be using my stylus for this. So we fold this in half. We tuck that in, push it up, and then close it. Well, that worked pretty good. And then use the stylus to push the bottom in where it's supposed to be. Well, that worked. So we'll do that again. Fold it in half. Put the bottom in first. Push it forward. Close it up. There we go. That is so much easier than what I was doing before. Right. Those are okay, so on the instructions, it says to use leather lace, and um, 
and a couple of hooks and blah, 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 blah. I'm going to show you another way. I will show you another way. Okay, first thing I want to do, so this is scrap. This is eighth inch. So it's that. That is smaller. Now let's see, what do I prefer? So I'm gonna end up with something hanging down. I think I like the look of that better. All right. I know it's bigger. Usually I go smaller, it's bigger. Okay, and then I'm gonna need couple of buckles. All right. So let's put a buckle on one end. Alright, so the buckle has to be here, and then this wraps around to here, and then we're going to go ahead and trim that to a point, like that. Okay, and I'll make another one. enough. Okay, so make sure we got the buckle where we want it. And then come around this way. And just kind of glue it right there. I'll oh, shape them later. Like everything I make, you have to shape it because it's made out of leather, and leather only cooperates if you force it to. Really, it's never gonna just go up to you and go, I'd like to be a saddle, and it doesn't. Sometimes it wants to be wrinkly, and sometimes it wants to be flat. Same thing, you gotta put dye on it, and sometimes it'll like go, I don't want to be brown. I was going to be blonde. So, what I'm going to do is more like with a western saddle and something I can slip on under the back here, right, that these can just be attached to. Um, 
So I need something from there to there. And I can measure that. Right? Because I have a good ruler, which is way too long. So let's see. It's only going to be. I guess we could go three quarter inches wide. I wouldn't go more than that. And then the saddle is an inch and a quarter. So I need something to glue it on. I'm going to be. It's three quarter by. Give it a half inch. So I would say by two and a quarter, three quarter by two and a quarter. So let's take some of my tooling leather here. Pretty sure this is a straight edge. Let's hope. So I got a three quarter here, three quarter here, right? And then I did say two and a half inch there. Two inches. Let's go two and a quarter. I'll give myself two and a quarter. So, in length, I'm going to go two and a quarter. And then, it's not a very big piece. So, pretty sure I'm straight, aren't I? So I'm supposed to use my straight edge here. Yeah, we're good. Close enough. because you're watching the video do you get to see this additional way of making these saddlebags. I still have to make some for western saddles but I haven't ever done really a trail endurance with a western saddle. I've always used the uh, Australian stock saddle. Alright. So Yep, that's about right. So this will slip under here. And that means I can use glue. Right here. Doesn't look away from there. There we go. Now let's see if we need to do any straightening. go. All right. There we go. It'll be right there. The saddle pad underneath. And 
Now what I do want to do See how that kind of goes in like that. I want that to be normal. That one's not going to work. So I need to train it to do that. Over here, same thing. I need to push the center. Has that fold and then squash it in place. That's extra glue. Okay, it's not going to probably sit overnight. Alright, that is our finished piece. Um, I could edge coat that, but it's not going to be seen. And um, that's all good to go with the uh, Australian stock saddle. Thank you for joining me, and uh, see you again next time.